Hello? Hello? What? That was weird. <laughs> Welcome back to Call a Nurse with Nurse Veronica. I heard that today I'm not getting a call from a patient, but from one of my former students. Nicole, are you there? Hi, Nurse Veronica. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? What's going on? I am supposed to assess a patient who was diagnosed with subdural hematoma and cerebral edema caused by a motorcycle crash. Okay, I hear you. Do you know which symptoms you're expected to assess initially with this patient? That's what I wasn't so sure about. What would you need to look out for? Okay, a patient diagnosed with a subdural hematoma with cerebral edema may be confused or exhibit stupor as initial symptoms. Right. Decerebrate posturing is a late sign of brain stem damage. These are the things I would look to assess initially to determine the appropriate stage of brain damage. Thanks, Nurse Veronica. Now, let's look at the scenario as if it were an NCLEX question. Answer choice four is correct. The client diagnosed with a subdural hematoma and cerebral edema will have a change of consciousness. This client may be confused or exhibit stupor as initial symptoms. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. See you in the next episode of Call a Nurse with Nurse Veronica.